So, very good morning. Welcome along. Are you guys on Zoom and if you're following on YouTube as well, um, you're very welcome. We're going to start off with uh, just a few breathing uh, exercises just to uh, calm ourselves down, get in the zone and chill out a little bit. So I'm just going to start the music going and all I want you to do is take a deep breath in to the count of four. Relax your shoulders down, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. As you inhale, thinking about filling your lungs to full capacity. And exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. As you inhale, we're just going to lift the head and look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, looking up. And exhale, looking down. Nice and slowly. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, looking down. One more time. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, down. And now as we inhale and look up again, we're going to roll the shoulders back. Big roll back of the shoulders as we inhale, look up. Open up your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then as we exhale, roll the shoulders forwards, look down and open up your back. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, look up. Try and get big movement through your shoulders. And then exhale, shoulders forwards, looking down. And again, inhale, look up. And exhale. Looking down. Let's do one more nice and slowly. Big inhale, fill your lungs, lift your head up to the ceiling. And then big exhale, empty your lungs, roll your shoulders forwards and look down towards the floor. And bring your head back to neutral position, looking forwards once more. Oh, morning, Caroline. <laughs> Um, there we are. I said that, that I knew you'd join just as soon as we got started. <laughs> right, let's do, let's do, just get a little bit more warmed up now, a little bit more energized. So we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit more dynamic moves to get ourselves going. So, big shoulder rolls, big shoulder rolls. Fantastic, and backwards. With the right arm only, circles with the right arm. Let's get that shoulder mobilized, nice big circles with the right arm. Actually, it doesn't matter which one you start with. I'm not fussy. <laughs> and then figure of eight, looping round into a figure of eight. Very good, let's do the other side. So big circles first with the other arm. And figure of eights, swooping round gracefully, gently, slowly, but also mobilizing those joints different directions. Fantastic. Let's do our little twizzle, uh, my favourite opening move in every class. So let the arms just flop round. Turn your body, turn your head looking over your shoulder. Fantastic. A couple more times. Twist round as far as you can. Let's get lots of movement through your back. We've got quite a few twisting moves to do today. 
Excellent, and then we'll just go side to side. So, arms down to the side, side bends, down to the side, and down to one side, and the other side. Gently reaching those fingertips down towards your ankles. Ah, very good. Cool. So I'm just going to go back onto my mat now. And we're going to take a big breath in as we breathe in. We're going to lift the arms up, push up onto your toes. And reach up towards the ceiling. Nice and high up onto your toes. See if you can hold that there. And then on the exhale, we're going to drop the heels down, bend the knees a little bit, and cross the arms over. And then again, up onto your toes. Nice. Oh. I did a little wobble. <laughs> okay, and then heels down, cross your hands over, bend your knees. Again, up onto your toes. <sighs> Hold for a breath. And down again, let's do one more. Up onto your toes. <sighs> and heels down. Now we're gonna just do that again, but slightly different. We're going to bring the hands in front this time, up onto the toes, and then we're going to bend the knees right down and swing the arms back behind and up again. We're just going to do three or four of those. So off you go in your own time. Swing up, push onto your toes, swing your arms back behind you, bend the knees a little bit more and right back. And then up. Remember, you're going to inhale as you come up, you're going to exhale as you come down. Oh. Try and just hold on the toes for one beat. Right, we're going to do one more. And then lower your arms down, bring your heels back down onto the floor. Fantastic. So, my mat's moving around by itself. So what we're going to do now is a little sequence, standing sequence. It is a sequence we've done before many times. Okay, so nothing new, but it's a nice little sequence. And we'll, because we've done it before, we'll go straight into it and do the whole thing through. So we're going to keep the heels down this time. We're going to be starting with a chair pose. So we're going to inhale, bring the arms up, palms facing each other, and then we're going to exhale and bend the knees into our chair pose. Perfect. You know the sequence. Okay, then we're going to inhale again, stand up, bring the hands out in front, palms down towards the floor, and now a deeper squat down, as low as you can. You might find the first one, you're not going down too far, but as we warm up, we'll get lower. Then we're going to inhale again, bring the arms up, and we're going to go into our forward fold. So, forward fold, stretching those hamstrings, and then inhale. As we unfold, and arms down. Cool, let's do that through a couple of times really slowly. Okay, so couple of times nice and slow those three positions so inhale arms up exhale small bend of the knees palms facing each other nice and high inhale stand up arms to the front exhale squat down inhale stand up arms come back up, exhale forward fold, inhale unfold, exhale arms down straight into the next one, inhale arms up, exhale chair, 
Inhale, straighten the legs and bring the arms in front. Exhale, squat down. Oh, I'm going a bit lower now. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, forward fold. Get those fingers to the floor if you can, or hands on the floor. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair position. Inhale, arms to the front. Exhale, squat down. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. Fantastic. We're going to do it again, but this time with a twist. Literally, we're going to add in the twist, which you know and know well. So we're going to um, add that twist in on the forward fold. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, squat. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, forward fold. Now on the next inhale, we're gonna twist up. So hold one leg with one hand, other hand is gonna twist up. For the first one, we're just gonna hold this for a few breaths. The leg that you're holding on to is okay if that knee bends a little bit, but if you can keep both legs straight, that's cool. Hold it here, looking up towards your hand. Excellent. On the next exhale, let's bring that arm back down again. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. We're going to do it one more time and we'll twist to the other side. So, inhale. Exhale, chair. Inhale, arms to the front. Exhale, squat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Now we're going to twist. Make sure you twist up to the other side and hold for a few breaths. Nice twist through your upper back. Hold it for a few breaths. And then on the exhale, bring your iron down. We're going to unfold slowly Ooh. and bring those arms down. Very good. So we are going to go through that sequence two or three more times with the twist. Each time we do it, we're going to do the opposite side. and But we're not going to hold the twist. We're just going to make it a nice, smooth flow from one to the other. So we'll, again, we'll start with a chair and the squat. And we'll be twisting both sides. Right, so inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair. Inhale, arms to the front. Exhale, squat down. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down straight into the next one. This time we'll be twisting to the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, arms in front. 
Exhale, squat down. Ooh. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist up. Other side, of course. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. We did it once more through on each side. So two more, two more loops of the uh, of the sequence. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair position. Inhale, hands in front. Exhale, squat. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. One more on the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair position. Just bend the knees a little bit for this one. Inhale, hands in front as we straighten those legs. Exhale, squat down. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist. Final side. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, unfold. Exhale, arms down. Very good. We're moving swiftly on. I want to do a little bit of warrior. So let's take those feet a little bit wider now. A little bit wider on your mat. We're going to take one foot, turn it outwards down the length of the mat. So one foot is across the mat, one foot is pointing down the mat. Arms out to shoulder height and bend that front knee. Shall we just hold this position, enjoy it for a few breaths? <laughs> nice strong warrior position. Take a few breaths. Maybe sink down a little bit more if you can, if you want to get more of a stretch. <sighs> Fantastic. Let's straighten out that leg and we'll twist the feet round to the other side. And we'll do our warrior on the other side. Knee comes forwards. Very good. Again, hold for a few breaths. And straighten out the knee, bring your arms down. Let's add in a little sequence here. Gonna do a couple of cycles of the warrior sequence. Again, we've done this before, nothing new. So a nice little familiarity in our training today. So turn the other foot outwards again. Arms out and push that knee forwards. Excellent. Now the arm that's stretching out in front will take the back of the hand to the side of the knee. Other hand's gonna come down to meet it and then we're gonna do a big twist up. Fantastic. Hand that's in the air is going to go onto your thigh. Other hand is going to stretch back. We're going to stretch the other way. Fantastic. Hand that's on your thigh is going to go behind your back now. Other hand is going to stretch outwards, reaching out as far as you can. Fantastic. Straighten out that bent knee. Take the hand that's outstretched to the side of the knee. We're going to twist up this time 
with straight legs. And finally, back to horizontal with those arms and bring the foot back in again. Let's do the whole sequence on the other side. So I like this sequence. It's nice to have something familiar, isn't it? That we know exactly what we're doing. So, other foot goes outwards into our first pose, our warrior. Very good. Now the hand that's outstretched in front, we're going to take the back of the hand to the side of the knee. We're going to bring the other hand to meet it and we're going to twist up. Fantastic. Hand that's in the air goes onto your thigh. Other hand stretches up. Big stretch to keep that front knee bent. Hand that's on your thigh goes behind your back. Other hand stretches outwards. Pushing as far out as you can now. Look towards those fingertips and push them away. Excellent. Let's straighten out that knee. Ah. Outstretched hand goes to the side of the knee. Other hand meets it. We're going to twist up with straight legs this time. And finally rotate back to arms horizontal. Bring the foot back around, bring your arms down. We're going to do the whole thing again on each side. Only one more time through on each side. So if you're ready, turn the toe outwards. Hands to horizontal, push that knee forwards. Fantastic. Hand that's outstretched to the side of the knee. If you want to dip that down a little bit more, fingertips towards the floor, that's amazing. Hands meet and we untwist. Hand that's in the air goes onto your thigh, other hand stretches back. Very good. Hand that's on your thigh goes behind your back and we stretch outwards. This is a tough position. Let's hold it for a breath. Oh, excellent. Now, straighten out that knee. Oh, that gives a bit of release. Take the hand that's outstretched to the side of that knee. Again, if we want to take it a bit lower now towards the floor, other hand's going to come down to meet and we're going to twist up. This time with straight legs. And finally back to horizontal. Let's do one more on the other side. So, I feel like my feet are getting further and further apart as I stretch. <laughs> but that's a good thing. That is a good thing. I'm almost on the ends of the mat here. Okay, so bend that front knee. Arms out. First position, warrior. Arm that's outstretched in front of the side of that knee. Sink down, maybe get those fingertips onto the floor. Hands together. Big twist up. Fantastic. Hand that's in the air goes onto the thigh. Other hand stretches back. Marvellous. Hand that's on your thigh goes behind your back. We reach outwards. Let's hold this again for a couple of breaths. Really good, strong position, working those muscles in your legs. Marvellous. Straighten out that front leg. Wow. Hand to the side of the knee. Sink down. Hands together. We'll do a twist up with straight legs. Marvellous. And finally, rotate your body so your arms are horizontal. Bring both feet back in face in the middle. And we'll do a final inhale. Bring in your arms up. And then a slow release as we bring those arms down on the exhale.
Very good. Just got to get my feet back together again now. Oh. <laughs> oh, give your legs a little shake out. That's really good. The good news is we're going to get down on the floor next. So you'll be starting off um, on your back on the floor. And we're going to do some a, a bit some of the same stuff we did last week we're going to repeat because I just want to do a little reminder of that. So get yourself comfy on your back and we'll do a nice long floor sequence today. So Right, just need to I've got a thing in front of the screen. I can't see my screen. I need to see my screen right first thing we're going to do is the trusty bridge position so hands to the side of your body palms upwards bring your heels in as close into your bum as you can and love the bridge position let's lift those hips up into our first bridge now think about getting those hips as high as you can. So you're going to work into your lower back and your glutes. And we're just going to hold this position for a few breaths. You can close your eyes. All you have to do is think about lifting your hips as high as you can. Fantastic, and then slowly and gently lower your hips back down to the floor. Excellent. If you're comfortable with the regular bridge, you can continue with that. If you want to advance it, we're going to do this again, but this time with one leg up in the air. We did this last week, so straighten out one leg. Bring one leg up as vertical as you can and then lift into your bridge pushing up onto the other foot high as you can one leg up in the air ideally that upward leg should be vertical and straight at the knee <laughs> in an ideal world let's hold it for a few breaths nice <sighs> of course if you struggle to get one leg up you can do your regular bridge that is fine And then slowly lower your hips down and lower the foot back down to the floor. Let's do the other side. So again, straighten out one leg. Bring that leg up as high as you can. And then lift your hips up into your bridge. Leg up in the air. Oh. Hold it for a few seconds, a few breaths. And then slowly lower your hips down, bring your foot back onto the floor once more. So should we have a little progression on this today? If you can see me, what we're going to do is we're going to start in that same position, but then we're going to lower the heel of the straight leg to the floor and raise it back up again twice through. So if you want to watch first, that's okay. You're ready to go. Let's go. So one arm, one leg straightens out. Leg comes up vertical and we lift the hips up into our first position. Now, that straight leg that's pointing up towards the ceiling, we're going to slowly bring the heel down to the floor. Tap the heel on the floor. Boom. And then lift it back up again all the time maintaining that bridge position let's go a bit slower so slowly the leg comes down heel taps on the floor boom and then slowly back up again 
all the time maintaining that bridge position. That's twice. So now you can lower your foot back to the floor and hips down. Shall we try the other side? Let's do the other leg. Extend the leg out. Up vertical first and then into your bridge. Now that straight leg, very slowly. Lower it down to the floor, maintaining your bridge. Ooh, keeping the knee straight. Tap the heel on the floor. Bump. And then back up again slowly. Ooh. Let's do that again. Leg comes down. Tap the heel onto the floor. Ooh. And back up again. Oh, I find that side more difficult. I don't know why. And then gently lower your hip back down to the floor. Foot comes down. I'd like to do that one more time each side. I know, it's tough isn't it? You think this is going to be easy, but actually this is quite, quite a good one, good tough one. So, back to the other leg, leg goes out straight, hips up, leg up vertical. Now, from our start position, slowly, heel comes down towards the floor, keeping that leg straight if you can. Tap the heel on the floor. Back up again. Oh. We do have to do it twice. So, heel down. Tap the floor. Back up again. Oh. Slowly, lower your hips onto the floor and bring your foot down. We only have to do one more on the other side. Straighten out the other leg. Lift the leg up, vertical, push your hips up into your bridge. Now that vertical leg, keeping the knee locked, slowly down, heel taps the floor. Back up again. High as you can, remember pushing your hips up in the air, leg comes down a second time. Tap the heel onto the floor, bump. Back up again, slowly, slowly, hold for a breath. <sighs> Hips come down, foot back onto the floor. Very well done. Take a breath, take a moment. Yes. Now we're gonna do something different, but I need you to turn over. So turn over onto your tummy, facing down on the mat. <sighs> Slowly take your time. Now, if you can see my position, I'm just going to take my fingers, interlock my fingers under my chin, elbows out to the side. So you've got interlocking fingers, palms down towards the floor, elbows out to the sides. And I just want you to bring your head down and rest your chin on the back of your hands, like onto your knuckles. Gently. Now from here, we are going to attempt to lift your arms off the floor. This is going to work your lower back. So what I want you to do is lift as high as you can. Hands and elbows come off the floor. Holding that position. And then lower back down. Again, you can hold as long as you like. You don't have to follow my speeds, my cadence. You can raise up, hold, and then lower down when you need to. I've just got a bit of cramp in my foot. <laughs> so just give me a minute. You can go again. Okay, let's go. So I'm just gonna lift up now high as I can it's only as you might only lift your arms a couple of inches off the floor of course because it's a small contraction in your back and then lower down again so now we're going to give you a little option to progress this further and that is as you lift your 
arms off the floor, you also lift your legs off the floor. So I'm going to lift my arms up, try and bring your legs up. It's only a few inches off the floor. Gives them even more of a contraction in your lower back. Hold it here. And lower down. We'll do it one more time. And then we'll progress. Oh, running out of time. <laughs> Just looked at the clock. Okay, let's do it one more time. Lift up. Feet off the floor, arms off the floor. And lower down again. Perfect. Next week, we're going to we'll do that again and we'll just progress it a little bit. Okay, so next week we'll just take that and we'll progress it a little bit more. You know, it's, just, it's going to basically be the starfish where you stretch out your arms. Okay, but let's not do that today now. We've done enough. All we have to do is do a little stretch. So I want you to come up into tabletop position. And as always, we'll finish with cat and cow stretch. And child's pose. Classic finish to our session. So start off by arching your back up into cat stretch. And then lower your tummy down, lift your head up into cow. And we just move slowly between those two positions. Take your time at your own pace, moving from cat to cow. Hold as long as you want to on each position. I'll give you a minute or so to just stretch in those two positions. <sighs> Try and get as much range as you can. In cat, we're going to arch the back up as high as you can. Let your head hang down between your arms. Pull your tummy away from the floor. And then in cow, we're going to make sure that back is concave. Tummy comes down, head looks up. And let's do one more on each. Nice and slowly moving from one to the other. And back to neutral. So we're going to sit back on the heels, stretch it back, arms out in front, bring your chest down towards the floor and have a big stretch out of your back. Think about pushing those hands forwards, creeping the fingertips forwards on the floor, walking them out like little spiders across the floor. One more deep breath. And then slowly back up to tabletop position. Walk your hands back towards your knees, kneeling up. And finally, onto one foot. Push yourself up to a standing, take your time getting up into a standing position. <laughs> and we'll finish how we started. We'll take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And have a little shake out of those arms. Very well done. 
Very well done. Good stuff today. Um, lovely to see you all on Zoom and um, you guys on YouTube as well. I know there's uh, there's lots of you out there, so uh, hope you enjoyed that session. We'll be back next week for some more. We'll do a little progression on that uh, back extension. Um, but we're back on Friday for Sprightly, of course. We're back um, next week for Tuesday. Wednesday and Friday. I'll see you then. Have a great, uh, enjoy the day, enjoy the sunshine. The sun's out at last. Um, so enjoy that and uh, I will uh, see you soon. Bye. Uh, you can turn your microphones on if you want to chat. Happy to chat for a bit. Uh.